Before we get into today's video, which is the second adventure in Nashville, please take a look at the things that I aired last night in the August Unlive sale. This sale is full of some fun, whimsical, signed art and fall things. I was feeling fall in the air. Get in and take a look. I will attach a link to the box right underneath this video. Take a look and if you find something that you love, don't forget that mom and I will be live this Tuesday, not Thursday, Tuesday, August 27th, and I will be glad to combine some shipping. Hope to see you then. Hey everybody, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho, here with... Hello everybody. Earth, my other half. We are still in Nashville. It is our second day outsourcing. And where did you bring me? It's All Things Possible Bargain Center. Um, it looks kind of sketch. Pulling up, I can't lie. Like I always told you, don't judge a book by its cover and don't knock it till you try it. All right, well, we're going to go in and see what's what's in here. Sounds good. Look at this big place. All these hard goods over here. Earth's found something over there to look at. And I got permission to record, so I want to share with you what I'm seeing here. Look at all these mugs. So she said when we first came in, everything was half off. This rack says two for one dollar, so that's pretty amazing. Prices are really great. And I saw down in here a Starbucks mug for Tennessee, uh, Nashville, which I thought was kind of fun. People collect these. This is a nice big one. So this is the You Are Here Nashville mug. And then look at this, it's a Colorado mug. So this is the state mug and that's a city mug. I've never seen this one, it's really fun. So I'm gonna pick up those and we're just gonna continue to look. I saw this guy down here and I think he's pretty awesome. Oh, he's a good quality wonder shop. We might have to get him too. He's really nice quality. Any chips? Nope. Ears are good. Always good. All right. Well, we got some good mugs. W. Buck. Isn't that pretty? That looks like hand painted Italian. Little plates. This is made in Thailand, but definitely has an Italian look. are pretty too. Those are really pretty. Coventry Secret Garden. We got some books. Four for a dollar on the books. Wow. We might have to take a moment to look at books. It's an awesome price. James Patterson, I funny. Just looks like kind of a mishmash of things. Oh, good book. Good book. Search for significance. Man, if you're in the area and you like to read Come get yourself a book for a quarter. That's amazing. MCAT Biochemistry Review, 10th edition. So these are good ones to look up. Anything that is a study guide or a, you know, college level book but find a date because they're very quickly outdated. So they're only good within like the year or two that they're printed. This is 2023. So we will look that one up. And here's some more. This is 2019, so probably not good. I think I'm gonna take a minute to look up the uh, 10th edition of these, 2017, just to see. All right, so the story is these came in a seven book set. And if you can find the seven book set, um, 2023 20, to 2024, uh, $100 plus. 
Some of them sold up to 150. With just the three, I'm tempted to go ahead and pick them up. They're in really nice condition. Um, don't even look like they've been broken in. And, you know, some of them are sold separately for like 10 to $20. So maybe I can list the three for 30 bucks. And I'm not sure if these qualify for the 25 cents, but if they do, that's 75 cents right there. So that might be a good pickup for us. Ooh, I see some Christmas stuff over here. What is this cutie? Looks like somebody made her. She's a aluminum can. Somebody found a vintage little cutie. That's kind of adorable. Oh, we might have to pick her up. What are you finding back here? Look Looking this, something uh, up? Look up this Rock and Santa Claus from 1991. A rockin' Santa Claus. It's by Gemmy Industries. Jemmy's good. I saw a lot of Jemmy. Jemmy's good? Yeah, look at you looking at the animated stuff that I always look at. Mm -hmm. So the last time I got one like him, it didn't rock very well. Like there was something in his butt that rolled. Oh, he's cuter than the one I had. He's got um, cute little glasses. It's batteries. Batteries. Well, depending on his price, we can take a risk. Okay. Did you find a seltzer and all? I didn't find a ton. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me uh, help. I'll shut the camera down and help real quick. We couldn't find him um, for sales comps. There was some listed as low as like, what, $15? Yeah. So one was listed lower, but it said it didn't rock. Oh my gosh, I see a sloth oh, over wow. here. <laughs> a sloth pillow. It's awesome. Got some furniture back here. Looks like maybe some toys over there. Dressing rooms. And lots of clothes. You know me, I'm a... I look for all the hard goods. Fun hard goods. But if you're local and you're looking for clothes, you may want to stop in here. Look at these boots. Those boots were made for walking. several pairs see these are things that I should probably look up those are nice $25.99 sun and stone seven and a half those look brand new let me look those up real quick well I found another pair that was listed it was an eight and a half not a seven and a half listed for 34 so $25.99 is a great price for these brand new, but she's also running a half off sale today. So that would make these a really great price. Um, I'm not going to get them because I don't do so well with shoes and my margin would have to be a little bit higher than that. Now we're going to run through a few more things. I looked over here and saw some Franciscan apple. Those are apple. Oh, those are nice little ramekins. Look at how cute this is. Aww. Little cutting board with that little turtle on it. He's adorable. I think somebody's going to want him. It's a nice little board. It has been used a little bit. It needs to be oiled, but it's still in really nice condition. Mmm, Danish butter cookies. There's something in there. Shall we investigate? Do I need Earth's extra hands? Sewing notions? No, paints. Those oil paints? 
We got some just crafts in here. Lucas gouache. Hmm, those look like they're new in there. And then there's some. Look at somebody made a little mushroom. There's some polymer clay in here. I have quite a bit of polymer clay, so I don't necessarily need that, but I'm gonna look up these Lucas paints and see if, uh, you, hear, you hear how friendly. <laughs> That's the, uh, the lady running the store. I don't know if it's her place or what, but she's super friendly. The paints aren't um, valuable, but I haven't worked with gouache in a while. And these look like they are basically unused. So, yeah, we might ask about this and see what she's wanting for that tin full of stuff. It's also a very cute tin. Trader Joe's. So, no value in the tin, but all those supplies. Yeah, we're going to ask about it. That's nice. That looks like it might be a Pier 1 or something. That's a good look to it. A cat diaper? Cat diapers. I never knew they made cat diapers. <laughs> I hope we don't need that anytime soon. I hope our cats continue to know what to do. Yes. All that noise that you heard was a uh, mother and daughter came in and I think they bought a ton of clothes. They said something about they set an alarm so they must have knew, known that she was having a half off sale and they came in to buy clothes. This is weird. What is this? Ever after AAS 2011. So it looks like some damage on it. That's wild though. Somebody definitely um, created that. I'd be kind of tempted <laughs> to take that weird thing if it didn't have that uh, damage on it. It's just too wild. Ooh. Look at that's a Tigger clock. Missing maybe a tail. Yeah, probably his tail would swing. And here is salt and pepper Halloween. That's cute. It's like a poison bottle and a little cauldron. All right. Big painting down there. That looks mid century. I'm trying to see what this person died. Oh, yeah, we don't do dolls. Have you ever seen me pick up a doll? You never know. It might be. Might I, be I agree. You never know. I don't ever look them up, so I might be missing out. Exactly. I might. I might be missing out Again, on. We're not going to retry it. <laughs> All right. Well. The out before. There is. I know there is. There's people who love dolls. Some of them even uh, hang out on my channel with me, and they I, tell me I, I like dolls. Yeah, yeah. Cause dolls will come alive. I, they're kind of. It's kind of like clowns. It just, I don't know. Just stuff. Just. I know it's a toy like I mentally know it's a toy but I also think that it maybe is like I don't know not haunted but like it just kind of got a creepy factor just, hey what just admit it you're weird <laughs> I know let, I'm weird let everybody know that you're weird you're just, everybody not, who yeah. watches already knows I'm weird if this is the first time they're watching then you're telling them I'm weird and they might just be learning it's like the doll's gonna come up <laughs> <laughs> might you never know you never you never know all right so i've been down through the clothes because i wanted to check and see about t-shirts and stuff and i found this really nice champion hoodie it's in a 2x i'll tell you what if this isn't listable which i think it might be um i would wear it they've got 12.99 on it which would make it 6.50 today that's great. Yeah. So I need to share, what did she say? Everything on Fridays that's not marked 
we're here on Saturday, so this isn't uh, today for us, but any, any of the clothes that are not marked with a price on Fridays, they do 50 cents. So, man, if you're in the area, look at that. So that's marked. So that would today be $6.50. That's a really nice chaps denim shirt, large. You may want to try that. Okay. You may want to try that. Uh, the arms may not be long enough for you. Uh, they're probably not. Yeah. That's a nice shirt. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on down here if you're in the area and at least check out some clothes. Um, you know, I don't really do the clothes, but I ended up getting a nice little stack of hard goods too. And I feel like somebody who does t-shirts should come here and really look through the t-shirts. We saw some Tennessee Titans stuff. Some nice stuff. Designer bags here. All right, onward and upward. Well, that was the- All things shop. possible bargain. All things possible bargain uh, place. Got, give you the address? Um, we'll put it up on screen so everybody knows where it is. The people there were amazing. The lady who was running the place has been there 14 years, but she said this place has been around way before her. So it's a long standing place. I think it's a really good outlet for people who are looking for clothes. Had some great clothes, some bags, everything. Um, but we are headed down the road now to go check out that treasure hunters place where they were shooting the movie when we were here last. Well, we're back at Treasure Hunter's thrift store and looks like the parking lot's full again. So, place must be a, yeah, must be a pretty uh, popular place. You must have noticed it had a boho look to it, huh? Yeah, it looks like something. It might be Pier 1. I think I heard somebody say everything's half off today. Yeah, check the top though. It looks like maybe there's some damage. My, my it's battery operated. Yeah. No Not really a real a real clock. Believe it. Yeah. I mean, it's neat looking. Hmm? It's neat looking. It Just like you. <laughs> Someday. Someday. So place is pretty big. Seems nicely organized. Like I said, I think I heard, oh my gosh, look at this guy. Sorry, Highland Cow distracted. <laughs> um, I think somebody said everything in the store is half off. Somebody asked if there was deals today. And that's what I heard. Oh, he's looking at another clock. It's the same clock. Yeah. With the West Daniel Western Dakota, Chime. West Western yeah. Chime, everything looks the same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold for this. This Sold is, for that with free shipping. Also, oh, it's no longer for available. Oh. July 11th. Okay. Are there any listed? There's another one that sold on auction for 34. That's listed. That's the same one listed for 60 with 22 shipping. I don't like to ship real clocks, but this is also battery operated. Yeah. Hmm. We'll think about it. Yeah, so we'll have to see how many are listed versus how many are sold um, to determine. There's a, chance. There's a chance for that, yeah. I did pick up these, I'm gonna look these up. This area over here, they have a sign. It says vintage up there. So this is the vintage section and there seem to be a little bit higher priced. What does that say? Contempo. Those are nice. I like that black mat. Also 24. Contempo Frost. I'm gonna look those up. I like that. I was gonna say, that looks like a Franciscan. I like the colors in that. Hello. This is definitely mid-century. We got Avon. These are kind of fun. I've never seen these before. 
graphics are cool. And they look new. I think most of them have little tags in them. They're marked the Corner Store Porcelain Mug Collection, made in Japan. This one's Sunkissed. I think that says 1985. They have them at 10 each, which would make them five each. But that's about what I could list them for, plus shipping. So somewhere between four and six dollars a piece plus shipping. They're neat though. Really cool, fun graphics. Although that's not enough coffee for me. That's maybe a 10 ounce. Ooh, these are Arthur Court. Hmm, look at all these pieces. Okay, we've got to do some lookups here. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff here. If that's 12 over there, is that the right top? Where's the marking? The top looks weird. Like this bunny looks a little different color. But that's great for six bucks. Somebody's not happy. Alright. I'm gonna look up some of these. Okay, wow. <laughs> There was a screaming child in here, just screaming, screaming, screaming. Um, I've loaded up on this. So some of this is Arthur Court. Most of this is Arthur Court. Um, this, I'm not sure about. I haven't looked it up yet. And these little candle holders. These definitely feel heavy. This is Arthur Court, this guy. And it looks like these should do pretty good, whether I list them together or separate. Um, the butter dish looks good. I don't see any listed right now, so I can set a price on that that I'll be happy with. I'm trying to make a decision right now on these. So they have these for 30, which would mean I would get both of them for 30. Um, these are nice though. I'm seeing some of these listed in the 45 range, but I think the one that I saw on eBay that was 45 was listed with the box. But I feel like if I list them together, I'm going to pay 30 and maybe list for double that. I'm not sure. But I'm also seeing this down here. And this looks like it might be bunnies too. And this one has a box. They have 25 on this, which would make it 1250. Yeah, those are bunnies in there too. Little, um, Flash dish holder. Does that look like the box for it? Yeah, it does. I'm not even gonna look this up. We're gonna grab this. So I think we're gonna take this all. That's pretty too. And that's got about six dollars. Yeah, I think we're gonna take it all. I cleared the shelf, y'all. I took it all. All of it. It's in the cart. Harf's gonna come over here and go, what did you do? <laughs> oh, those are kind of wild and wonky. What did you say when you saw my cart? I was like, what on earth did you get? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Oh no, I cleared a shelf. It says, if you open the package, you buy it. In other words, do not open the package. That kind of makes sense. If it's new, why would you do that? You wouldn't do that in any other store. Also devalues it for uh, us resellers. This is Italy up here. That's neat. Oh, darn, it's cracked. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Someone didn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the dark. Hmm. We need the generators that they had here when we were here on Thursday. Hopefully we can check out, because if the system's down, we might not be able to get this stuff. Oh, oh. oh. That's not good. It's not a good sign. 
That was a little crazy. <laughs> that was weird. So first <clears throat> off, that girl was having a breakdown. I don't know. She wanted her to buy something. She's with her grandma. Did you get that whole thing? I didn't really see it. Oh, I couldn't record because she was screaming bloody murder because she wanted her to buy something. But apparently she didn't understand that it was in the cart because she was buying it. But then grandma didn't want to buy it at that point, even though she was planning to because mm -hmm. of the screaming girl. I don't know. She screamed her way all the way out the store. And then shortly after that, <laughs> you saw everything I put in my cart. But then, boom, the lights went out and they never came back on. So they, they were telling everybody. And then it kept going off. Yeah. Outside. They were gone. So they kept telling everybody, like, you can't shop. Please come to the front, which we did. And then they said, if you have cash, we'll take cash. I was thinking about that. And yeah. I was kind of hopeful, but I wasn't sure. Cash is always king in this world. So if you can't spend cash, spend the cash. So <laughs> That's stay true. Stay away from this electronic car plastic if you can. But at some point, we're going to be forced to do it. So... Stick with cash. Are you, you preaching? Can. Yep. Because <laughs> I believe in cash. He's a cash, cash guy. I'm a cash guy. Yeah. So I agree. If we don't use it, it's, it's going to go away. All of the Arthur Court, I cleared that entire shelf. At, at half off, it just made sense. Now, some of those pieces, because I couldn't look them all up, some of those pieces may have been close to retail at the 30. So 15 to 30 is not something I would normally do, but if I can bundle them in some kind of way, I might, you know, have a good uh, sale there. And there were just so many pieces and they were so cute. So I grabbed them. Mm -hmm. Plus I have a friend, Gloria, who collects Arthur Court and has bought the bunny pieces from me before and a fish piece. So she'll probably get first dibs on those. I'll ask her if she needs any of those Sounds pieces good. before I uh, list them. But yay, that was fun, crazy but fun. <laughs> we may hit another place. I don't know if we'll record. The rest of this day is kind of dedicated to family and doing some stuff with family. So yeah. What do you think about Nashville? Interesting town, but it's very country because it is a country music town. Yeah. We're so not, we're not very country. So we don't that, listen that, to country music. That's to be when you come to Nashville. Yeah. So. It well, is, but it is music city too. That's right. So. Not is. just country, mainly country music, but other parts of music yeah too. we did There's hear some too. when we were walking down the strip we heard some rock and mostly country though but yeah we're having a good time and we're going to be headed home tomorrow so one yep. last day and this will probably be it for us the last hoorah the last hoorah <laughs> so until next time please take care and we'll see you then bye, bye. bye.